Well, hello. It's really high up here. These RVs are very tall, and that can cause some problems. These tall vehicles are very hard to stabilize. Oh, baby. Pardon me if I sit for a minute. Suspension upgrades are one of the best things to do when you get your uh, Sprinter-based RV. There are several different ways to upgrade the handling. First thing are the anti-sway bars. Uh, I installed the Helwig uh, sway bar in the rear and that really helped a lot as far as going around uh, on ramps and exit ramps. Uh, uh, before it was like, oh my god, I thought I was going to tip over. <laughs> anyway, so now it's much better. Um, I also put in some Coney shocks to give it a little more damping. And uh, those shocks don't work perfect. The, uh, they probably could use a little bit more, actually. Um, you can tell your shocks need uh, improvement when the swing goes back and forth several times. And the last upgrade was adding in sumo springs, front and rear. And those seem to have helped a little bit extra. All right, we got our new sumo springs. Open them up, take a look at them. Okay. Come to pair. This is for the back. The front sumo springs look like this. Uh, one goes on each side, it bolts on um, right behind the front wheel. And this provides a little more cushion too, so we'll install those next. But uh, first off, we'll start with the rear. Okay, now it's time to get these old ones off. You just pry them off. deeper groove like this side right here. This goes up in the front, so it's gonna go just like this. All right. Oh, dang it, I forgot to jack it up. Okay, got her in there. Well, that's how the rear sumos work. And now on to the front ones. item. Jack the sucker up. Pretty high and clear. Okay? Washer to the hole. I hold the washer with my finger. Get it on top. I'm using a, a deep socket and a little piece of cellophane here to uh, hold the nut on so it doesn't drop off. So we get it in just like that. That's all there is to it. Okay, a little bit of a dirty job, but we're good to go. these upgrades are particularly difficult. The uh, sway bar goes on with six bolts, um, so you just need a wrench for that. The uh, shocks are even easier. They're uh, two bolts a piece. Um, you don't even have to jack up the RV to do it. The uh, sumo springs, uh, you do have to jack up the back to get it in. Um, that doesn't require any tools, you just use push it in with a uh, screwdriver. 
Uh, the front ones, you got to do a little bit of wrenching and get your hands in there, but uh, again, that's not, not too hard. So uh, anyway, I'd recommend all those uh, upgrades to your suspension, and I think you'll be a lot happier with the way it rides. Well, that concludes our video on RV suspension mods. Uh, plan on doing some more, so if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, that little picture of me and uh, like it and share it and we'll see you on the road.